Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, we're ready now. You ready? Yeah, okay. So ready. Yep. And in five. <laughs> Good morning, boys and girls. Ooh. And welcome to Island Time. <laughs> My name is Jonathan. And my name is Brian. <laughs> shall we start to Brian? Oh, let's shall, let's shall. <laughs> okay, boys and girls, wow. today we're going to go to the Museum. Oh, I love going to the museum. <laughs> wow. Hey, Jonathan, just a little question for you. Yes, Brian. What's your favourite part in the museum? <laughs> well, well, if we bring the lights up slowly in the museum, yeah. then it is that area in the museum where they had the dinosaurs. You know, the prehistoric area. Ooh, wow, I love the pre... How do you say it? <laughs> the prehistoric area. Yes. But you know what? What? It's also the scariest place in the museum. Wow, you said that so high. <laughs> but it is scary in there, Brian. You know what, Jonathan? What? You've just reminded me that that's where I saw the scariest thing in my life. <laughs> oh, Brian, you have to share it with the boys and girls. Oh, let me do, let me do. <laughs> hey, boys and girls, I'm going to tell you a story, a smack of a do. <laughs> One day when I was just a young lad, I was supposed to be at school, <laughs> but I decided to take a young Samoan girl to the museum. A Samoan girl? Yes. Oh, that's scary. <laughs> it was frightening. <laughs> but that wasn't the scariest thing in my life. Oh. What was the scariest thing? Well, we went to the prehistoric area. <laughs> and that's where I saw the scariest thing in my life. Ooh, I think I know what it was, Brian. What do you think it was, Jonathan? <laughs> you have to give me some clues. Okay. Okay. Was it? Was it standing over you? Oh, yes, indeed, it was standing over me. I think I know what it was. Yeah. Was it snarling at you? Nah. <laughs> Come on, mate, it must have been snarling at you. Oh, well, now I remember. It was, it was. <laughs> oh, I know what it was. What do you think it was? Please enlighten me, enlighten me. <laughs> was it the Tyrannosaurus? <gasps> no. <laughs> it wasn't the Tyrannosaurus? No. <laughs> what was it? Her Fathersaurus. And now, boys and girls, it's time for our story. And our story today is about a little girl called Goldilocks. <laughs> Goldilocks lived with her family near the edge of the forest. One day, Goldilocks went out picking flowers. Wow. Oh, he loves me. 
he loves me more. <gasps> he loves me so much. As you can see, Goldilocks was a bit deluded. <laughs> but Goldilocks was so busy picking flowers, she wandered into the forest. And before she knew it, she was lost. And when she realized she was lost, she realized and remembered that she had forgotten something very important. And she became very scared. Luckily, Goldilocks saw in the distance a friendly-looking cottage. Wow, I can see in the distance. <laughs> is that a friendly little garden? <laughs> it is a friendly little garden. <laughs> the cottage belonged to three bears. The first was Great Big Papa Bear. Hey. I'm Papa Bear. The second was medium sized Mama Bear. Hi. I'm medium sized. <laughs> And finally, there was Tiny Baby Bear. Hi! <laughs> I may not look it, but I'm the tiny one! <laughs> On this particular morning, the three bears went to have breakfast. But because the porridge was still steaming hot, they decided to go for a walk through the forest. Our porridge is still too hot. Why don't we go for a walk and wait for it to cool down? That's a great idea, darling. Hey, Dad, I've never seen you go for air shut your mouth. <laughs> Meanwhile, Goldilocks had approached the front of the cottage. As she neared the cottage, she could see that the window at the front of the cottage was open. So she went to climb through the window. <laughs> oh, wow, lucky the window is open. <laughs> so Goldilocks decided to walk through the front door. As soon as Goldilocks opened up the front door, she could see into the kitchen and she could smell the sweet steaming porridge. Mmm, I can smell the sweet steamy porridge. <laughs> oh, this a big bowl, this a medium bowl, this a small bowl. Oh, I'm gonna go for the big one. <laughs> Oh, it's too hot. How about the medium one? What is cold? Hold on, if I mix the cold with the hot one. Mmm, <laughs> just right. <laughs> oh, but there's a small one. I don't want to waste that one. <laughs> Goldilocks was so tired from walking through the forest all day and eating all the porridge, she decided she needed to sit down. So she wandered into the lounge next door. And in the lounge, she saw three chairs. Wow, three chairs. Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Hmm. Three chairs. Ooh, 
I'm going to sit on this nice big one. Oh, it's too hot. Oh, here's a nice medium one. Oh, it's too soft. Here's a nice small one, just like mine. <laughs> oh, oh, just one leg fit to me. <laughs> Goldilocks then decided she needed to lie down and have a little nap. So, she walked up the stairs. <laughs> she walked across the hallway <laughs> to the bedroom. Oh, wow, free beds. Wow. Oh, I'm going to lie on this nice big one. It's too hot. Here's a nice medium one. It's too soft. Oh, here's a nice small one, just like me. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, the three bears had returned from their walk. As soon as the three bears walked through the back door, they could see that someone had eaten all their porridge. Oh no! <laughs> Someone is eating all my porridge. <gasps> Someone is eating all my porridge. And someone is eating all my... Yeah, I know we can see that. <laughs> so the three bears walk into the lounge next door. Oh no, someone tried to sit in my chair. <laughs> someone tried to sit in my chair. Someone tried to sit in my chair and has broken my chair. Ha! 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 So the three bears walk into the bedroom. Oh no, someone tried to sleep in my bed. Someone tried to sleep in my bed. You have a separate bed? <laughs> to sleep in my bed, and I'm still sleeping in my bed. Ha! 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 The bears screamed so loud that they woke Goldilocks up. And when Goldilocks woke up, she said, going to have for dinner. <laughs> and that's island time for us today, boys and girls. But don't go away. We're going to play some music and we'll be right back with Elvis. There's no intermission. <laughs>